So here we have the Audi A4 Avant S line on a 67 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of the car and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see that it's a five door car with alloy wheels. Let's start off inside the boots and then work our way around the rest of the car from there. So the tailgate on this car will open electronically. To do that, just press the button on the bottom of the key. As we approach the boot, you'll see we have reversing sensors. Plenty of boot space as well, along with those three individually folding rear seats, should you wish to increase that space even further. Okay, so we're just going to work our way back around to the front of the car, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But now that we've done a full circle of it, you can see it's in excellent condition the whole way around. Just briefly before we climb in, I think it's what we're seeing the interior from this exterior point of view. You get half leather seats. There's plenty to run through on the dashboard, so let's hop in and we'll do that right now. Okay, so starting on the left-hand side, we have buttons that can change the information that's displayed on the main screen. On the right-hand side, we have stereo controls, satellite navigation controls, and phone controls, including voice activation for the phone. And then underneath, just here, you'll see that we have cruise control. This car's also got a speed limiter as well. Over in the center, we have the main uh, kind of entertainment screen, if you like, radio screen for the car. All the movements that you see me making at the moment, they're all being done using this dial just here. You can also use these collections of buttons to highlight certain things. So if I want to go to the radio, for example, I can push that up. And when we look back up on the screen, we are automatically on radio or media or sat nav or your telephone. So you can access any of those or you can press the main menu button and do it manually through here. So you can see where you'll pair your phone, where you can listen to your own music. Uh, this car's got a USB input. You can also stream your music wirelessly via Bluetooth audio. When it comes to radio, we have DAB digital radio as well as AM and FM as well. The main volume for the stereo incidentally is controlled just here. Working our way down from that screen, this car's got three zone climate control. So you can independently control the passenger and driver temperature and the rear passengers can control their own temperature as well. You can increase and decrease the fan speed. You can turn air conditioning to eco or off completely. You can determine what direction you'd like the air to be distributed in for driver and passenger independently. Once you're happy with all of those settings, the air conditioning is on at the moment. You can hit auto for either side of the car and the car will take over uh, control of the speed of the fans uh, as well as the direction of the air in order that it maintains this temperature. And as I say, you can do it for both sides of the car. To override it, you can either readjust the fans or press that button again. We've also got heated driver seat with three different heat settings and the same on the passenger side. Underneath that, this button will turn the screen off. So if at night time it's bothering you, you can turn it off and off from, on and off, sorry, from here. That will turn the parking sensors off. We can turn off the traction control. This button turns off the stop and start. So this car is designed to cut out when it's stationary in traffic to save you fuel. Hit that button to turn that system off. Drive select will put the car into either comfort mode, automatic, dynamic, or individual. Individual means you can customize it uh, to be the way you want it to be. Automatic means that it will do what it needs to do depending on the road surface that you're on. It will automatically change it, essentially. Under that, we have a 12 volt charging socket, the USB input, the button to start and stop uh, the engine. So you just need to make sure the key is in the car with you. And finally, a six speed manual gearbox next to the electronic handbrake. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come and see the car in person and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.